Well, good evening and welcome once again to Letchworth Cable Access. I'm Kyle Adamzak, and tonight we have, as you can see, our annual special guest, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, boys and girls! Did you have trouble getting down here? No, it was pretty nice. Actually, it was snowing quite... I brought Rudolph to get help through the fog and the snow uh, yesterday. Uh, yeah. We touched down in the field just north of Perry here, and they're out there uh, grazing on the corn in the, uh, the fields. So you spent the night here? Yep, spent the night, yep. Well, we're honored to have you here in Perry visiting yeah, glad to be here. County. Glad to be here. And is it busy up at the North Pole? It's really busy. This is really busy getting ready for the, uh, the big night, yep. Well, I'm awful glad that you're able to come again because we have some letters from local second graders. And uh, we can't read them all. I mean, we can read excerpts from them all, but we can't read everything that's in the letters, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. But you're going to take them with you. Yep, we'll take them to the North Pole. I distribute them among my elves, we'll, and we'll take a closer look at them. We'll catalog them. And yep, file them away. Yep, get them ready to go. Well, let's get started. Here's a letter from Lucy. She wants to know if you could get her a tablet, please. Lucy, um, we'll see what we can do. Um, again, um, can't promise you anything, but we'll do our best. We'll see what Santa can do. But you got to be a good girl. Uh, Santa's watching. Just remember, Santa's watching still. He's still got another couple weeks for Christmas. Um, and we'll see what we can do for you. Um, Lucy has a couple questions. Do you have a family? Yep, Lucy, I have a family. I have no kids. Me and Mrs. Claus and, of course, Mrs. Claus' family and, and my mom and dad are, are also at the North Pole. How many reindeer do you have? We have several dozen reindeer. Obviously, we have our most popular that usually take over unless something happens, an injury or something, then we can swap out uh, with some of our reindeer. But uh, pretty much we have just eight. Uh, with Rudolph will be nine. I don't bring Rudolph all the time. Some people think I take Rudolph all the time, but if the weather's nice, we don't need Rudolph, so we usually keep him back. He's uh, kind of like the SEAL team? Yes, and if it's foggy or snowing hard, we'll take mm -hmm. Rudolph along with us. Yep. Well, here's a letter from Asher. I think I have it right. And Asher would like a Beyblade Turbo Achilles. Okay. All right, we'll see what we can do. And I have a letter from Christia. Christia would like an iPhone, a P24, I think, a Nintendo Switch, and a dirt bike. Okay. Um, we could uh, see what we can do on all those. Dirt bikes are a little dangerous. You've got to be careful. And remember, you always got to wear a helmet and make sure mom and dad are really close. Uh, we might have to turn down uh, the engine a little bit so it's not so fast for you, but we'll see what we can do. Um, here's a letter from Blake. He addresses this dear St. Nick. He's being formal. Nice. He said he would like an iPhone 11 and a PS4 and Fortnite. Okay, Blake, I can see what I'll do for you. You'd be a good boy, and uh, Santa will see you and take a look at it and see what I can do for you. Here's a letter from Donovan. Donovan would like a gift card for 500k V bucks for Fortnite. So it's Donovan, right? Donovan. All right, yes. Donovan. We'll see what we can do for you. That's uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, credits there, but we'll see what we can do. Um, a letter from Gavin. Gavin would like a PlayStation and Lego sets, and a Madden 20. Okay, Gavin. Now uh, again, we'll see what we can do for you. Uh, hopefully you've been a good boy, and uh, Santa and our elves will take a look at it, and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. And Gavin asks a question, how old are you, Santa? Santa is very, very old, okay? Um, I don't know the exact uh, year, uh, but I've been along, around for a long, long, long time. After a while, you don't keep yeah, track. Yeah, you, you lose track after a while, yep, yeah, absolutely. it isn't important. Yep, right. Birthday is just another yep, day. that's right. Here's a letter from Noah. Noah would like an iPhone 11 and a dirt bike. Okay, Noah, um, again, the iPhone 11 is uh, feasible. It's a pretty safe gift. Um, the dirt bike is, again, very dangerous. Uh, hopefully, I, I'll leave that. I'll probably get a hold of your parents and find out if that's something that they are interested in uh, because I'm worried about your safety, and that's number one. Um, if we decide to maybe look at that issue, you're going to have to make sure you wear safety gear when you do that. Okay. Noah puts a P.S. I like you. Uh, I love you too. Um, here's a letter from Ava. Ava wants to know how things are going with the elves. Are they causing mischief? Ava, the, the elves are so busy right now that they have no time to cause mischief right now. Uh, maybe after uh, Christmas um, Day, 
uh, I give them like a week off, a couple of days off, and then they have a lot of fun and they, they have fun and they do cause a lot of mischief. They have fun in the North Pole. And then after that, a week later, we're getting busy for next year already. So they get pretty busy up in the North Pole. And Ava would like uh, a baby alive and some food packets. Okay. All right. You be good, Ava, and I'll see what I can do for you. Here's a letter from Natalia. Natalia asks if you could please give her an LOL doll, a pony toy, and some new boots. Okay. Natalia, we'll have to get you some boots, try to get you some boots, because uh, the weather's getting cold and you guys get some snow up here in Perry, I know that. Uh, maybe not as much as the North Pole, but I know you get your share of the white stuff here. Is, has it been snowing up there regularly? Yeah, it's been snowing almost every day for the last uh, month and a half now. So. How deep is it in your yard? Oh, it's probably three foot deep, but it's packed down so you can walk on top of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, this letter's from Cadence. Cadence would like to have a pogo stick. Cadence, okay. That's uh, something old. Back in our days, we used to have you know, yes. a lot of pogo sticks. It's fun. could be dangerous, though. So, you got, again, another toy you got to be careful with. Uh, you want to wear safety gear when you do it and uh, make sure you don't hit your chin on it as you're jumping. So I know I've yeah. done that a few times. Ava would, uh, I mean, Cadence would also like a pair of stilts. Oh, okay. He and likes that. Those are some pretty rare gifts. Uh, stilts are fun, yeah. too. Again, very dangerous, but you, they're, they're a pretty good gift. And we'll see what we can do. And she also, and Cadence also asks for uh, some LOL dolls. Okay. All right. We'll see what we can do. Um, this letter is from Wyatt, and he would like a Beyblade Turbo and $8,000. And $8,000? Yes. Well, Wyatt, I don't think Santa can give uh, money. We don't usually give money like that, but uh, we'll see toy-wise what we can do for you, okay? Well, he would like to know how Mrs. Claus is. Mrs. Claus is doing good. She's... Uh, She's making uh, good cooking for Santa to get ready for the big trip, um, baking me lots of cookies. Santa loves cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Well, if you eat all those cookies before the trip, what do you do when you arrive at the houses where cookies? I build up an appetite for cookies. Oh, I and see. I just you're getting, getting I ready. See. you got to get ready for all the cookies I, I eat see. that it's night. It's like those so, hot dogs. Yeah, it's like a month this. before I start eating a lot of cookies just to get ready. <laughs> I get you. For the big night. Here's a letter from Kayla, or Kaya, I'm not sure. Um, she asks, uh, can I please have an iPhone, a MacBook, and a puppy? Okay. So we'll take a look at that. The puppy is something I'll have to get a hold of mom and dad with. Um, there's a lot of responsibility to go with animals. I know kids, a lot of kids like animals, but you've got to realize that animals do leave messes in the yard and Somebody has to pick up that mess, and they got to be fed every day and watered every day. So it's a big responsibility, and I'll, I'll talk to Mom and Dad and see what they think, if you can handle that or not, okay? We'll, well see what we can do. Well, that was from Kea. Kea? K-E-I-Y-A-H. Okay. And she, I think it's a girl, she wants to know, do you have a big sleigh? Our sleigh is pretty big. It's about 20 feet long and about 10 feet wide, so it's pretty big. Wow, is it like pretty a big. tractor trailer? Yeah, truck? it's pretty big, yes, really big. Yeah. Do you stop along the way to reload it? Yeah, we have to reload every so often. We have some yeah. distribution centers yeah, throughout yeah. the globe. Our elves are there, they're, they're set up, I pull in, they pack me up, I'm gone within a minute. Wow. Yeah, they're really fast at it's it. Like a pit crew. Yeah, it's just really quick. Here's one from Haley. Uh, Haley would like to have three real hedgehogs. And two LOL dolls. Okay. And one more thing, a real puppy. Okay. Again, talking like I did earlier is, um, you know, with real animals, you got to be careful. And your mom and dad got to be okay with that. Okay? Because uh, it's a lot of responsibility. I want to make sure you're okay with that. Here's a letter from Cooper. Cooper would like a Bill's poster, books, a tiny robot, and Legos. Okay. Who is this again? Cooper. Cooper. Okay, Cooper. We'll see what we can do. Um, the Bills, I'm glad you uh, like your local NFL team, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, Santa's two favorite teams are the Minnesota Vikings and the Buffalo Bills. I like the Buffalo Bills a lot. Um, so I'm on board with you, but I'll see what I can do with that. Do you think the Bills are going to have a Christmas stocking uh, this year? Yeah, I hope. Super Bowl invitation? I, I don't know about Super Bowl, but if they make the playoffs, I'll be happy this year. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a letter from Olivia. 
Olivia would want a big red dog. Okay. And she says, I like your suit. Oh, nice, Olivia. So obviously Olivia, probably favorite color is red by the sounds yeah. of it. And I'm assuming it's a stuffed animal, or do you think it's a real dog she's talking she about? She just says, I want it all, all I want is a big red dog. Okay. I'll see what I can do for you, Olivia. You be a good girl, all right? Here's a letter from Kelsey, who would like an iPhone and an orbs, and wants to know, how is Rudolph? Kelsey, um, we'll see what we can do for you. Uh, Rudolph's doing great. Um, he's up. He's actually in the cornfield today. I brought him because it was snowing pretty hard the other day, so he did come on this trip. Uh, doing well. He's uh, very active, and he's ready to go for Christmas Eve. Well, if you're just tuning in, our guest is Santa Claus, and we're reading letters from local second graders. Here's one from Camden, who would like an Anki Overdrive, Bay Blades, and wants to know how are the elves doing. Camden, the elves are doing good. I got them real busy up the North Pole, um, and we'll see what we can do for you regarding your, what you want for Christmas, okay? Aviana writes that she would like some cozy dozies and a computer. Any questions? No, questions? no she doesn't. Well, she wants to know how Rudolph is doing, but you asked. Okay. All right, yeah, we'll see what we can do for you with your presents. Uh, you be a good girl. Santa's watching, uh, and we'll see what we can do for you, okay? This letter from Eli, he, Eli would like a dirt bike and uh, wants to know, how do you keep warm? Eli, um, Santa's suit is made out of wool. Um, actually, I prefer being outside than inside because I sweat a lot more inside. Outside, I'm more comfortable. Uh, so again, you, like any time, you dress for the weather and you use layers uh, to keep yourself warm anywhere you go. So uh, that's important, okay? A letter from Luke. And Luke would like an iPhone 11 and Bay Blades and a dirt bike. Must be these dirt bikes are popular this yeah. year. Yeah, Luke, we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, dirt bikes, again, are very dangerous. Um, for second graders, I don't know, it kind of scares me a little bit uh, to even think of that. So I'll talk to mom and dad like I told the other boys and girls. Uh, it's something that Santa's not just going to uh, look into without talking to your mom and dad to see if they think you're, it's safe for you to do that. Leah writes that she would like an Orby squishy and a plushy. Okay. Um, we'll see what we can do. You be good, and Santa will look at it and, and see how you're doing. Cardi, C-A-R-D-I-E, writes, would like a car toy and a Barbie set with clothes for Barbie and Ken and some clothes for herself. Okay, Cardi, we'll see what we can do. Um, uh, Barbie's pretty popular, as we all know, so we'll see what we can do for you. I imagine you have a whole factory that works on Barbie Yeah, we dolls. have one factory just on Barbie dolls. Wow, yeah. that's, that's been going on good. for a long yeah, time. Yeah, long time, yep. Long run. Yep. Amy Leah writes, could she please have a box full of pet shop and two coffee mugs and a PlayStation? Amy, uh, we'll see what we can do. I don't know about the coffee cups. I hope you're, hope you're at your age you're not drinking coffee, but um, <laughs> but we'll see what we can do, okay? You be a good girl, and, and Santa will look at and see what we can do. She asks a question. Yeah. How many reindeer do you have? We have several dozen reindeer, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we have our core reindeer uh, that come on the trip, but sometimes there's injuries and get sick, yes. uh, so we have to uh, replace reindeer sometimes, but... Do any of the reindeer retire? Um, no, they don't retire. They, they're just like Santa. They go just on and on and going. on. It's like that battery. What's that battery? That uh, <laughs> Duracell, no. <laughs> Duracell. What? Energizer. Energizer, yeah, the Energizer, Energizer, Energizer bunny. bunny. It's like the Energizer Bunny. We go on and on and on. So. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a letter from Dominic. Dominic would like to know, or would like a PS4 to go with the Spider-Man game. Okay. And Dominic says that he loves to read, and he deserves all these things because he was good. Nice. Dominic, very good. I'm very proud of you. Reading is very, very important um, to do, so I'm really proud of you because I know a lot of kids don't usually like to read, uh, especially with technology today, so I'm really proud of you that you like to read books. Well, you have to read if you want to work technology. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a letter from Dexter. Dexter would like a camera. Uh, and an Xbox. Okay, Dexter, we'll see what we can do. Um, those are some pretty big gifts, but um, we'll talk to Mom and Dad and, and see what we can do for you. 
Dexter asked, how is Mrs. Claus doing? Mrs. Claus is doing really good. She's uh, getting prepared for the big day, uh, uh, cooking and fattening sand up as, every day to get me ready for the big trip. Uh, but she's doing really well. well. Here's a letter from Marcus. All he asks, all Marcus asks for is an iPhone 11. He even drew a picture of it so you know. Oh, yeah, nice knows. picture. Nice job. And he wants to know, Marcus, are you g feeling good today? Yeah, Marcus, thank you uh, for asking Sam how I feel. I feel really good. Had a good trip coming in yesterday, um, and I'm doing good, and, and nice of you to ask that for Santa. I'm surprised this trip like that, you're not tired. Yeah, we slept pretty good last night. We stayed at the Clutchins Hotel up here last oh, night. Oh, I so, see. Yeah, we stayed there and spent the night there, and they were really hospitable. Well, that's uh, set up really nice for us. So. Well, that's good to hear. Yep. Here's a letter from Acadia. Acadia would like an LOL doghouse and wants to know, are your reindeer ready to get into the sky? Acadia, the reindeer, uh, again, we, we fly them, um, you know, several times a week to get them ready and keep them in shape. Uh, we have, like I say, several dozen. Uh, so we make sure they're, in, uh, they're kept up well. Their stalls are really clean and uh, ready to go for the big trip. Here's a letter from Levi. Levi would like Lego sets, Nerf guns, and some comic books. And he closes by saying, Merry Christmas. Oh, very nice, Levi. That was very thoughtful of you. Um, yep, we'll see what we can do for you. You be a good boy, and Santa will see what I can do for you. Comic books. Levi must comic like books. to read. Comic books. I know you don't hear that very often. He must like to read. Yeah, that's good. Here's a letter from Shelby, who asks for a phone and a real unicorn. Oh, Shelby. Um, a real unicorn would be a problem. Uh, your phone, we could look into, um, again, talking to mom and dad, see if you're ready for it or if they want it. Because sometimes some parents don't want them to have phones uh, at that age. So we'll touch base with mom and dad and see what they think, and then we'll go from there, okay? It'd be, it'd be good now. I'm seeing watching. I wonder if she'd settle for a doll unicorn. Yeah, maybe. Stuffed unicorn. Yeah, we could do something like that. Here's a letter from Annie. And Annie would like a sewing machine and a craft kit. Annie, I like that. So a machine, a craft kick. That's very uh, creative. Um, something different that Sam doesn't get every day. Um, but we'll see what we can do for you. And Annie makes a comment. She says, Rudolph is fun. <laughs> okay, uh, here's a letter from Jalen, who would like big books and Lion King. Nice, Jalen. Nice job. Um, especially, I, I love it when kids uh, read books. It's something that Sam doesn't get very often. Uh, books is not asked for for very much, and we'll see technology stuff and toys. So, uh, very proud of you for reading. Uh, very important for life to read books. Nice job. I have a letter from Jackson, and Jackson would like to have a superhero pack, a pet bunny, and a cage. Must be the cage for the bunny. Okay, Jackson. Um, we'll see what you do again. Uh, talking like I have the kids before. When you ever talk in animals. It's a big responsibility. It's a lot of work to have a real animal. So, again, we'll talk with mom and dad. We'll touch base with them and see if something they're interested in, and, and we'll go from there, okay? Jackson asked the question, how, what do your reindeer do when it's not Christmas? Uh, the reindeer train on a daily basis. Um, we train them each and every day. Uh, we, they're well taken care of. Um, but, yeah, they work every day getting ready for this because it's not just an overnight thing. They have to train for it to get ready for the big night. Yeah, I imagine there's a lot of work. Yeah. Destiny writes a letter. Destiny would like a squishy, LOL dolls, and Hatchimals. Okay. All right, Destiny, um, you be a good girl, and uh, we'll see what Santa can do for you, okay? And Destiny wishes that you have a safe trip. Oh, thank you, Destiny. Um, Lucas writes, um, he wants to know if he could please have some candy, Xbox, and some shoes. Okay. So, Lucas... Uh, Candy, Xbox, and some shoes, um, uh, those are some really uh, different gifts. Um, we'll see what we can do for you. Obviously, uh, shoes is very important, so we'll see what we can do for that, okay? Lucas asks a question. He wants to know, how do you come to houses? Um, Santa has, No, when do you come to houses? Um, Santa comes to houses uh, Christmas Eve, usually anywhere between 11 and 7 o'clock in the morning we get into the houses. Do the, do the children have to be asleep when you come in? They should be asleep because Santa wants them to be a surprise. So, yeah. And if, if you, the kids are up and, 
Santa has to talk to him. It, it just takes a lot of time away from my trip, and I, I, I get behind. So I'd prefer them to be sleeping just because I got, I'm so busy. I have no right. time to talk to people at right, that point. Right, right. Um, we have a letter from Brooke. Would please like to have a big unicorn, an LOL doll, and a stuffed cat. Okay, Brooke, we'll see what we can do with that. I wanted to just add on that. Um, if the kids aren't asleep, I usually bypass their house, so they really need to oh. be in bed and sleeping. So, so they better get yeah, to bed early. Yeah, because they need to be in bed, and I can tell if they're up or not, so they need to go to sleep, and Santa will surprise them. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. That's good to know. Here's a letter from Connor. Connor says he's been very good this year, and uh, could you please bring him a Nintendo Switch charger, Nintendo Switch, and a stuffed puppy. It was Connor, right? Yes. Okay, Connor, we'll see what we can do. You be a good boy, and Santa will look into it and see what he can do for you, okay? Thank you for all your hard work, he writes. Oh, Connor thanks, writes. Connor. That was very really nice of you. Um, let's see. We have a letter from Riley. And Riley really wants her sister to be home with her for Christmas. Oh. That's all she asks for. Oh, that's very nice, Riley. That's that's very thoughtful of you. Um, unfortunately, Santa can't help you out with that, but hopefully it works out for you over the holidays. Well, Riley does ask a question. Um, do your reindeer sleep? And, yeah. And do you have a horse? Yeah, the reindeer do sleep uh, just like you and I. They, uh, they sleep every night. Um, we do have horses in the North Pole. We don't use them for pulling the sleigh. Obviously, they can't fly like a reindeer can. Uh, but, yeah, we have uh, several dozen horses around that we use for uh, various things in the, in the summertime. We have a letter from Henry. And Henry would like uh, Ryan toys and wants to know, why do you make presents? Henry, uh, Santa started a long time ago making presents for needy kids who don't have much. And it was nice for me to give to people and, and see the joy on their face come Christmas morning and, and the delight on their faces. And it just makes my day when I see that. So, Yes. Well, he, Ryan, Henry, I should say, hopes you have a good Christmas. Well, thanks, Henry. I have another letter from another Henry. This is a different Henry. And Henry uh, wants to know, would like to have lots of legos he uses a lot of o's in the word lots oh henry very good legos are very good it's very you got to be cre pretty creative uh to uh, build stuff with legos so that's a good toy that's a really nice toy i'll see what i can do for you well he says he's been good this year and he's going to leave some cookies out oh i love cookies chocolate chip cookies are my favorite um here's a letter from ethan and ethan would like a megalodon tooth which is because he loves sharks. Okay, and that's Ethan? Yes. Okay, we can see what we can do, Ethan. Uh, you'd be a good boy and Santa will look into it. Must be he's going to study fish. Someday. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Um, we have a letter from Sammy who would like an iPhone. He wants to know how's it going. Sammy, everything's going good, and I'll see what I can do with you as far as uh, your iPhone, okay? Be good. I have a letter from Sophia. And Sophia would like a horse and an LOL big surprise, an Orby squishy, a phone, and a new four-wheeler. Okay, so Sophia, um, we'll see what we can do. Again, anytime we talk about real animals, again, I'm going to talk to mom and dad, make sure that that's something that they're interested in. Uh, so it's a very a lot of work. Um, you got to take care of them, a lot of care uh, to horses and animals in general. Um, we have a letter from Emma Lynn. And Emmeline would like you to bring her please would like you to please bring her a hoverboard and some ice skates. Okay, Emmeline, that's uh, ice skates are very rare. Something uh, most kids don't say, but uh, Santa ice skates. I have a pair of hockey skates. I like ice skating. It's a lot of fun. Um, so we'll see what we can do for you. I wonder if she skates on Silver Lake. Yeah, maybe. Has maybe. Santa ever skated on Silver no, Lake? No, not on Silver Lake. No, haven't had the time to get over and skate there. Yeah, we have a lot of. You have the Arctic lakes up ocean. there, yeah. Yeah, we got the ocean and some lakes. We have a lot of lakes up in oh, the North Pole also. So yeah. lots of skating up yeah, there. Yeah, I do a little fishing too, so ice fishing, so I yeah. like to do that. Well, oh, Emmeline asks a question. How do you get around the world in one night? 
with our elves, or I'm sorry, my elves and uh, we stop at those pit stops we talked about earlier, uh, my reindeer are very fast. We get uh, to one place to another in a blink of an eye. Uh, so we're really fast and uh, we work uh, dil diligently, uh, really busy, fast as we can, get in and out. It probably takes Santa like uh, maybe 10 seconds to get into a house, unload my presents to get back up the chimney. So. Still, there's a lot of houses. Do yeah. you use the international dateline moving to yes, help absolutely. Yep. buy your time? Yep. yep, absolutely. So basically, you could do 24 hours straight. Oh, yeah, nonstop. Yep. Yeah. Here's a letter from Aiden, who would like a gift card and a Segway. Okay. And who's this? Aiden. Aiden. Okay, Segway are pretty good. I like it. They're very dangerous, so it takes a lot of time to get used to them. Um, but we'll see what we can do for you. I got on one, I'd fall over. Yes, yeah, so would Santa. <laughs> Here's a letter it takes from, practice. from a Kane. And Kane would like an iPhone and a PC. Okay, Kane, uh, we'll see what we can do for you. You'd be good, and Santa's watching, uh, and I'll see what I can do for you. And Kane wants to know, how is Rudolph? Rudolph is doing good. He's, uh, he's in the cornfield as we speak, uh, feeding on corn. I know the farmers left a little bit of patch of corn for us. Uh, they're mm -hmm. nice enough to work with Santa. They know I come every year, and they, they set it up nice for the reindeer. Gee. We actually keep it at a local farm. I don't want to tell you where because I'd have all the kids going over. Oh, but yeah. a local farmer lets us bed them down for the couple of days. So well, that's nice yep. to hear. That's yep. awfully nice of them. Here's a letter from Augustus. And Augustus says, thank you for the scooter. I forgot all about it, and I'll try to use it in the spring. Must be he got it last Christmas yeah, and yeah, didn't yeah, use yeah, it at all. Yeah, I remember that. He would like you to, to bring him this year a Beyblade and a Speedy Shoe. Okay, Augustus, you be a good boy, and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Um, he wants to know, what's your favorite cookie type? My favorite cookie is Chunky Chocolate Chip, and I'll talk about that when we're done today before we close. I'll tell you what I want you to do for oh, me. Oh, okay. Chunky Chocolate Chip. <laughs> Here's a letter from... Jackson, and Jackson would like to have some Halo guys. Okay, like the game, I imagine, at Halo? I think so. All right, Jackson, we'll see what we can do for you, okay? Uh, we'll take a look at it. Well, if we got it right, the elves will know. What yeah, the elves will know, about. yep. And uh, Jackson wants to know, do you have a big family? Yeah, Santa has, well, not a big family. Uh, I have my uh, my wife's side of the ho the family, her her dad and her mom, and, of course, my mom and dad, too. So um, we don't have any children, so it's not uh, a big family. But there's lots of elves up yeah, there. Yeah, lots of elves. How yep. many elves? Oh, we have millions and millions of elves that wow. work. Um, we have to have a lot just to get the quota of toys out. It's, it's yeah. a lot of work, so. Do you have, like, a little community up there? Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's actually like a city, a small city of just yeah. elves that are there, yeah. yeah. Here's a letter from Alana, and Alana would like a cat toy for her cat. That's all she asks for. Alana, it's all she asks is for your kitten or your cat. That's very sweet of you, uh, very nice. And uh, Santa will throw in some surprises for you, stuff that you don't know you're going to get. That's always fun uh, to throw surprises in, so uh, we'll see what we can do for you. She does ask a question. She wants to know, is Santa Claus your name or is it St. Nicholas? It's, it's everything. There's, there's many, many uh, different names for Santa Claus. There's different countries that call me different things. Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's a many, many names that Santa has. So, in essence, both are your names. Yes, both are my names, yep. Um, here's a letter from Mason. And Mason would like to, writes, can I please have a Nintendo Switch. I want some V-Bucks, too. Okay, Mason. Um, we'll see what we can do. You be good, and uh, Sam will take a look at it and see what I can do for you. And wants to know how the reindeer are doing. The reindeer are doing great. We got them all ready to go for that big night. I have a few more letters for you. Here's one from Carter. And would, Carter wants to know, how many cookies do you eat? Carter, Santa eats quite a few. Uh, Mrs. Claus, uh, bakes them every day for the past uh, couple of weeks. She's been cooking them for me, trying to uh, get ready for that big night to get ready to eat all this, uh, the cookies. So I eat quite a few each day, and I uh, just build myself up for that big night. So Yeah. Carter would like to have a puppy and a skateboard for Christmas. Okay, skateboard's a little easier. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that. Again, going back to the puppy, live animal, it's a lot of work, so it's something I'll talk to Mom and Dad about and see how they feel about this. Here's a letter from Ray Lynn. 
and Raylan would like a hoverboard, a doll, and a gymnastics bar. Okay, Raylan, we'll see what we can do. A uh, couple dangerous toys there. Um, uh, the gymnastics bar is dangerous. Uh, Mom and Dad got to be okay with that. Something that you need an instructor with because uh, you can get severely hurt with something like that. So you got to be very careful. So I'll touch base with Mom and Dad, and then uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Here's a letter from Bentley. And Bentley would like a new Nintendo Switch cars and a remote control car. Okay, Bentley, those are a lot of fun. Remote control cars are a lot of fun. Um, you behave yourself and be good, good and uh, Santa will see what I can do for you. Here's a letter from Emery. And Emery would like to have a horse set and a stuffed horse. Emery, uh, so it must be, Emery likes horses, I take it. Yes. Um, we'll see what we can do, Emery. You be good and Santa will take a look and see what I can do for you. Well, she writes, I hope you don't get hurt. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. Ian writes, and Ian would like a phone, iPhone 11 and a remote control car that can go through mud. Ian, okay, that sounds uh, pretty reasonable. Uh, we'll take a look at it, and uh, we'll see how you're doing, if you're being good or bad, and uh, Santa, I'll see what I can do for you. Here's a letter from Sheldon, who says he's been... He's been very happy this year and would like a remote control car and a Lego set and closes by thanking you for all your hard work. Well, Sheldon, I appreciate, appreciate that, and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Continue being a good boy, and uh, uh, Santa will see what I can do. Here's a letter from Robbie. Robbie would, writes, could you please give me a tablet with Minecraft, a hoverboard, and a mouse for my cat? All right, Robbie, very nice. I got a nice little letter there, and uh, uh, we'll see what we can do for you, Robbie. Well, we have one more letter. This is our last one, and it's from Kenny. And Kenny would like a camera, gum, school supplies, an iPhone, a Chromebook, and a cold jar of pickles. Oh, wow. Santa makes my own pickles. Uh, too bad I couldn't leave him some of mine, but I'm on the last couple of jars, so I can't give them to him. But I love dill pickles especially. Uh, but is it Kenny, right? Kenny. Yes. Kenny. So or uh, Kenny. Kenna. Ken, Kenna, we'll see what we can do for you, okay? Well, does Santa put a lot of garlic in his pickles? Yes, I love garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Garlic and cauliflower. <laughs> well, you were going to close with Yes, the boys and girls, I want to ask you a favor. If you could leave uh, Santa some cookies and milk uh, for Christmas Eve, um, Santa likes chunky chocolate chip cookies. And if you could put some ice cubes in the milk to keep it nice and cold, because warm milk makes Santa tired, and I got a really long night, so I want to stay awake. So uh, ice in the, ch in, in the milk, and if you could leave Rudolph those little carrots, um, I can give them to the, the reindeer, and they'd really appreciate that. Well, we want to thank you for coming in. We also want to thank Mr. Fahey, Mrs. Manchester, and Mrs. Brown at Perry Central School for their help. Um, thank you for coming in, Santa Claus. You're welcome. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Did you get a close-up of him to say Merry Christmas? No, no. <laughs> Why don't you get a close-up of him? And... You want me to do it over? Yeah. Okay, tell me one. Were you from the belly up? Or... Ready? Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas, boys and girls! Ho, 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 ho!